Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. You'll recall that not so long ago it was announced that Vermont was going to close the loophole and how you could title vehicles there regardless of where you lived. And a lot of people knew about this, and all you had to do pretty much was provide some paperwork that wasn't that hard to come up with that said that you owned a vehicle and uh, you could get a title from Vermont and you could register it there as well. And that registration would get you a license plate that you could put on your car and drive around. And uh, so when they announced they're closing that, a lot of people wondered, is, is anybody going to step into that void and, and, and pick up where they left off? And now this is not the exact same thing, but it, is, it has a certain parallel. Arlie sent me this note, and this is directly from a West Virginia government website, West Virginia DMV's National Digital Titling Clearinghouse is now signing up business nationwide. Now, I'm not sure how their rules work exactly with respect to if you've got a piece of paper that you say is a bill of sale, if they'll let you title that vehicle. But uh, the governor announced that businesses all across America that rely on vehicle titling as a critical component of their operation can now sign up for the West Virginia Division of Motor Vehicles National Digital Titling Clearinghouse. Clearinghouse is a central location for quick, efficient, and secure title transfers, and the first of its kind in the U.S. And again, this is all of their language, okay? And here's a quote. The launch of the National Digital Titling Clearinghouse represents a major leap forward for West Virginia, and will bring millions of dollars into our state while providing significant time and money savings to businesses nationwide. It's not only going to help West Virginia businesses, it will allow West Virginia to benefit businesses outside our state borders in a big way. National auto retailers, fleet operators, insurance carriers, and salvage vehicle companies from all 50 states can now visit West Virginia's website and enroll and begin the clearinghouse onboarding process. Onboarding. Once onboarding is complete, I assume you'll be on board. Licensed non-resident businesses will be able to transfer existing out-of-state titles into a West Virginia title in their name. The National Digital Titling Clearinghouse will significantly reduce the amount of time it takes to turn a title around, which is a major benefit, as a traditional title turnarounds often prevent auto retailers, insurance carriers, and fleets from selling a vehicle for months, impacting business productivity, and carrying considerable costs. So they say they're just doing this because other states do this stuff so slowly and, and have too much red tape. Um, the uh, governor speaking, says, I'm exceptionally proud of the West Virginia DMV for leading the nation with this unprecedented technology. Uh, this new enhancement, which allows a reduction in title turnaround times from well over a month to just a few days at most, wouldn't be possible without the team of dedicated employees I have in place at the DMV. The innovation through our partners, Champ Titles and Tyler Technologies, and the continued support from Governor Jim Justice and Secretary of Transportation Jimmy Rustin, P.E. So actually, I'm not sure who's speaking there because uh, this speaker references the governor and the Secretary of Transportation. The West Virginia DMV has received national recognition and a regional award for its efforts in digital titling through the American Association of Motor Vehicle Administrators at the Foundation of West Virginia's Digital Titling Efforts uh, is a comprehensive vehicle title administration solution that manages titles, registrations, liens, and dealer licensing within a completely digital ecosystem, showcasing innovation and technology. I think they're talking about computers. <laughs> At the West Virginia DMV headquarters, construction of the new clearinghouse area has been completed. Initial employees have been hired and trained. And with this announcement, businesses from around the country can now apply to join the clearinghouse. For more information, please visit the National Digital Title Clearinghouse uh, at uh, the West Virginia Governor website. So West Virginia DMV's National Digital Titling Clearinghouse is now signing up businesses nationwide. So this is for businesses, okay? But I, I know how these things tend to go because it's not that hard to become a business. And so if you were in a situation where you weren't necessarily a business, but you handled a lot of car sales or, you know, flipping cars, that kind of thing, you might realize that you could simply become a business and do what they're talking about right here, and then you're good to go.
So for more information, please visit the National Digital Title Clearinghouse website at wv.gov slash dmv, et cetera, et cetera. And you'll find it. Just go there, look around. Now, will this allow somebody who just bought a vehicle with no title in some other state get a title? I don't know. I don't know. But I just know that people do tend to look at how to exploit something. And the fact that they're going to be doing all of this titling work in West Virginia for people in other states makes me think that some people are going to examine this and see if there are, in fact, any loopholes that can be taken advantage of. So we'll see. We'll see. But it's an interesting concept that West Virginia is saying, hey, we're open for business. And anybody in any of the other 49 states or D.C. uh, who wants to uh, title vehicles quickly, you can do it in your own state, however long that takes. But uh, we'll do it much faster here once you've been onboarded. Now, I can tell you that, like in Michigan, for instance, the DMV, or our Secretary of State, became nightmarishly slow during COVID. But my understanding is they picked that up again. So I don't know if those situations still exist in other states or not. Like I said, they were very, very bad during COVID, but they're back to business as normal right now. So I'm not sure if this would be a huge advantage for somebody in Michigan, unless, of course, the process costs less per title. That could do it. That could do it. So we'll see. We'll see. So West Virginia's DMV has a national digital titling clearinghouse. They're now signing up businesses nationwide. And if you can conduct business using titles from out of state, you can do that West Virginia thing a lot faster, supposedly. Arlie sent that. Thanks a lot. That's directly from the governor's website in uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Thank you for watching Leto's Law. Mediocrity thrives on standardization.